I'm Marcus Blake with That Nerd Show, and we are speaking with Mark and Lee from Rememory. So, the power to be able to control memories, that, that's all we needed to know at That Nerd Show to be excited about this movie. So, I, I have to ask, where how, where did this project come from? I mean, how what was the inspiration behind it? I mean, uh, the, uh, I, I've sort of, I've always thought about our past, thought about uh, how how accurate our memories are and you know you kind of you always hold on to specific memories and other ones are lost and sometimes the specific memories you hold on to are really random and not right. not quite these these big dramatic emotional moments in your life and that was really the seed of the idea just came from I want to go back and sit in a memory of the past and and try to understand it as an adult versus a uh, child and then it was written specifically for Peter Dinklage so um, so really, we built the story around around Peter kind of being a memory detective, essentially. Right. But he's got a lot of issues of his own past that he needs to uncover. Well, I, I, it, I, I would think that if you're kind of conjuring up or bringing back these memories, you, you have your own past to deal with if you're kind of in this profession. So, yes. Yeah. You mean, as a filmmaker, you mean. Well, you that mean? and, you know, with the character and yes. stuff like that. Oh, yeah. But. yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, got, he's got stuff. He's got issues he's got to deal with. <laughs> Most of them I can't talk about until you see the film. <laughs> none, none of which. Uh, how long do we have to wait? Which actually, I can talk about until you see the film. Truthfully, yeah. I want to now I. What What was it like working with the cast? Because you've got a, a very diverse but great cast for this film. Uh, pretty. I mean, pretty incredible. You know, I mean, Peter really uh, set the bar high for everybody. You know, you come into a movie with Peter Dinklage and everyone kind of elevates their game. Right. Uh, there's not a lot of. Um, People are, um, and they were really drawn, I think, to the, it's, it's, it's character-driven, interesting material. So right. I think that there's, uh, it's, it's not, um, it's not a laugh out loud kind of movie. So, <laughs> so performance-wise, I think people were really um, right. at the top of their game. And, you know, Julie Ormond's incredible in it. Peter's incredible in it. Anton Yelchin is, is phenomenal in it. Yeah, it's so sad that uh, he's gone. Yeah. Uh, but... We were, we've been talking about influences. Yeah, we were talking about with the guys from Spearhead Effect and everything, but is there like films that, you know, have influenced you that kind of help create this? Like for me, the first movie that I thought of was that movie with Robin Williams, The Final Cut, which I think is about 10 or 12 years old. Yeah, I've heard that. I haven't seen that, but I've heard it. And I remember at the time it was uh, seemed, yeah, it's, you know, I, I, I have to say there aren't any specific influences. I mean, there have been films that have come up from people that have seen it, right. which is, I find interesting because, uh, you know, it's sort of what's what's jumped off. I mean, I think there were things, there are films, some of the films that people have brought up that I like, that are, you know, Tree of Life. Some people talk about Memento, of course, because it's dealing with memory. Right. Um, it's a different film than Memento Sunshine. quite a bit. Eternal Sunshine is another right. one, you know. I mean, really, Memento and Eternal Sunshine specifically deal in memory, so those two films are brought up a lot. Um, I think you'll see this film is pretty different than both of those, but both those films I love. Um, so, uh, but none, none specifically that I kind of went home and watched and thought about or poured over. Uh, I wish that my brain worked that way. Like, I mean, I really do. Like, people like Tarantino and those guys that are just have this encyclopedic right. brain about referencing. I can't. My brain just doesn't work. Well, well. but I think creativity. I mean, if you're an artist, creativity is different for each person. Yeah. You know, if you if you find that that one thing that inspires you, you run with it. And yeah. Whatever it is. So. Yeah. I think honestly, for this, it was it was built around for Peter and so I think that like right. building the character as much as possible for Peter and performance was that that was my now favorite. this isn't this isn't the, the first screening that you guys have had right we premiered at Sundance but right since Sundance this okay. is our first screening now I mean what kind of reaction did you get at Sundance and I I feel like that's kind of a well, I don't know. It's it's like the pedestal you put yourself on. Yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty uh, it was pretty great. It was pretty overwhelming, and I think we um, there's such a build up to it. But, but truthfully, we finished officially finished the film on January 14th, and our first screening at Sundance was January 20th. So um, it was a bit kind of like you don't even there wasn't even time to you're still kind of in shock of the entire experience. So this will be it'll be kind of nice to see it here in Dallas right. because I've had a little bit of time. You know, to kind of look in the rearview mirror and think about it that way. Okay. Now, in regards to Peter, uh, did you try to pry any information about Game of Thrones out of him, or was he on his best behavior? You know, I, I'm, I, I, I don't even want to admit it 
to that nerd show, but I'm not even I'm not even caught up on Game of Thrones. That's so okay. I, we'll forgive fine. you. Right. <laughs> so no, I didn't. I didn't. But but surely every interview we did at Sundance, people did. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. All right. So one last question, and this is our nerdy question for every filmmaker: If you could be a superhero or a supervillain, what would your superpower be, and why? What would you like to have? <laughs> Oh boy, Lee! <laughs> <laughs> I know there's so many good ones out there. There are so many. I know. It would be to make my infant children sleep. That would be <laughs> <the super power. laughs> Well, I can't beat that. I mean, that's pretty good. Make the infant children sleep. That's a good question, boy. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I th I'll have to think about that. I know. That's well, we, we, we've we've had it a, a few times. Of I wish I could remember everybody's name at the film festival. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's yeah. good. We had a cinematographer answer it. Uh, I wish I could fly so I could be my own drone shot. Right. There you go. So, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. No, that was good. I mean, invisibility is kind of cool, you know, because you can, you know, you can kind of come and go as you please, go to Absolutely. places you shouldn't be going, go to places you want to go. You know, I mean, that's always fun. But the research potential behind with that superpower. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you very much. Uh, we can't wait much. to see the film. Cool. And good luck. Thank you. Thanks very much.